Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over the document repository. With this feature, you can now upload default documents in the admin tools, which can then be added onto any case or client profile. In doing so, it allows you and your staff to easily access any document, as well as be able to update organization documents at any time for all caseworkers to use. Let us log into the caseworker portal. From the home page, let us go into the admin tools by clicking on the settings icon on the top right and proceeding to click on administrative tools. We are now in the admin tools. You will then click on the document repository button located on the top row. You are now in the document repository. Here you can upload any Word document, PDF, or image file to store. To add a document, you will click on add document. A pop-up box will appear. If clicked, it will open to your computer files where you will locate the file you wish to upload, or open a folder and drag and drop all files you wish to upload here. You will finalize by clicking Upload. Now that we have seen how we can add these default files, let us go into a case or client profile and add these files on there. Let us click on the settings icon on the top right and click on Caseworker Module. We are now back in the Caseworker Module. Let us go into a case profile. Once inside the case profile, we will go to the Documents section. From here, we can go into the Documents folder, or simply create a new folder. We will then click on Add Document. We will name the document, and when selecting File Location, we will see Import from Document Repository. We will select it. You will then see the list of documents you uploaded. You will locate the document you want and proceed to click on Select. You will finalize this by clicking on Save. You have now successfully imported a document from the document repository. With this, you can store default Word documents, PDFs, or other. Going in and updating when needing to make changes and in doing so, all staff can now access these documents and include them when working on a case or client profile. If uploading Word documents, you can even go a step further and save them with letter tags in which the software can populate information from the client profile or case profile. On another video, we'll discuss how to add tags onto those documents. This concludes our video on the document repository.